special shout out to my amazing members and patrons for your support. They are Samadina, Matthew, Lucky Charms, Rick, Himuri, Shalin Kili, I'm Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Bunny 264, Justin Rice, MDF 84ZA, Ozzy Bozzy, Kono 76, Beloka, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Krabian, Zareel, Furious Rams, Nathan V, Onokian, and Amy. Instead of becoming a patron, if you also want to go above and beyond and supporting the channel. Hey everyone, and welcome back to War of the Walkers mod. So, last episode, I realized we had a ton of blocks in the workbench as well. Um, I want to make sure we quickly finish this horde base because I need to make my base up top. So basically, for those who don't know, um, since if you shoot this way, you hit the base at the back. And we don't want to hear the dinging the whole night through. I'm going to destroy this over here. I'm going to copy this design on this side over here. So that way, if this side fails, then we can just go and put a block over here and use this side. Lady, why are you stuck over there? It feels like they're just sliding along. That they really, I hate, look at that. She's just sliding. They don't really like walking on that walker over there. But the zombies have to drink Horde Knight, so if she struggles, I wonder how much they're going to struggle. We do have to do as many quests as possible. Because I bought her, we had way less than 10,000, now we have 11 again. I need 25k before day 9 to be able to go and buy that Steel Auger. I think it's a level 6 Steel Auger as well, so we'll be able to go from scrap stuff, crappy scrap tools, uh, these two over here, to be able to go like a Steel proper tool. So instead of like 3 power attacks with this, we just tap it like twice with the Auger and it just does whatever everyone make. Also, um, sharing is on, so technically we can make the stuff on us already. Like so. We don't have the resources on us, but it's uh, crafting out of the boxes we have outside. Screwdriver we can make. Grab, uh, claw ammo we can make. Splints, I think we have to make five of them. Let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. We have to make all of the pipe weapons too. And then bandages, I think we have to make either five or twenty. But we don't have enough... Wait... Oh, remember that uh, it looked like it grayed out, like I couldn't craft anymore. Okay, so we'll just wait for the cobble to finish before we continue that one. Uh, over here, we're going to put some bars. That's going to be doors. So this one I can actually really block off. I knew there was something wrong on the side. I just couldn't realize what it was. Uh, we'll go and go for the bars. Advanced settings. Make sure it's upright. Oh, in my Darkest Fall server, we've had a little bit of an issue with... Uh, the matriarchs and the, the succubi glitch through the bars. <laughs> the Horde Knights uh, this weekend was just insane. I think it was the day 133 Horde Knight and this previous uh, weekend. And basically, um, yeah, a suck uh, guys, at the moment, this new Darkest Falls is way, way harder than A20 uh, Darkest Falls. The succubi and all the demons now shoot three fireballs instead of one. And even on Nomad difficulty, the succubus, the princess, not even the queen, the succubus one shot kills you. And the queen, the matriarch, glitched through the wall in between us and just uh, fired off a fireball. <laughs> that was some fun. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, yes, I have something interesting over there. So we're going to go for simple rotation. Do that. So, um, you know, I should probably put in some hatches over here instead. We could put these, but I'm just afraid the zombies won't path as properly as they can. For this over here, though, you go shape and you go for this one. Then you go advanced. You want to have it on the top left and top right sides. Almost like that. Yep, there you go. Nice. So now you protect against the vultures and you have that one in over there that I wanted to put in. This side of here needs to go next. Now we just put a hatch over there. I still wanted to remove this and I want to put a walkway on this side. But first things first. Um, Probably have two ladders going up. It doesn't really matter, but it's going to bother me later if I don't do it. This needs to be removed, but at the same time, I need to put a ladder in. I wonder if I shouldn't put the ladder this side and this side. So we'll break out this one over here. It's just a shame that we only have scrap axes and stuff at the moment. But yeah, I need to break this one out. I need to put a ladder up, and then we have to put our horde base, or actually a home base, upstairs. So we're going to have a tower base, basically. At the bottom, we're going to have our normal horde base, and on the top, we're actually going to have a base base. Only problem is, we have to be careful of vomit and stuff. If your base isn't secure enough, then your whole home base up top is going to actually break down. It seems there was a weird wandering horde coming through last time. What I mean by weird is, we had one or two zombies spawn in over here on us, and we killed them. And at the end of last episode, when we turned around the corner over there, we were like, oh, there's a cop, there's a spider, or mutated creepy thingy. So the wandering horde spawned around us, but in a really, really weird way. In such a way that we didn't even realize there was a wandering horde, basically. Okay, you guys have to move. Come on, down the ladder you go. There you go. Okay, so now both sides we have a ladder. Now all I have to do is put pillars going up. Technically, since it's my base, it needs to be more stable. 
Um, ooh, that's gonna be a problem. I just realized something. Because that's gonna be a gap, it's gonna be a little bit weak. I could put a pillar in the middle of here, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, right there. I can put this, that's technically being held up even though there's a space in between. And then this over here, this will be able to have a pillar because it's going down all the way. But over here, as you can see, there's a pillar underneath. But because there's a gap over here, this pillar is not really going to serve much of a function. That's going to really cost us later. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll have our base up here. Nice and high so the vultures can actually still make it underneath. Shape, simple rotation. And I just realized <laughs> we don't have full protection. Okay, skills, let's see. Parkour is still over here, right? There's parkour. One out of four. Okay, we can put a point in there. So please tell me I can fall over here. I can fall on the heads, perhaps. Please, 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 please. Yes, okay, cool. If I fall on the heads, we don't have to worry about taking too much damage. Since the pillar goes so high, I need to get them out of the way. What was that? Oh. Oh, nice. We just got 1.2k coin and a 12,000k XP for crafting these over here. See, as these quests in the background finish, while we're just busy building, we get XP and cash. That's awesome. Three. That's two. Three. Come on. That's four. Five. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Six. Seven. I'm going to have to make it the same as I did from the bottom. What we did in the bottom was we technically... Oh, well, this is too high. In the bottom, we just made this go out and then we had the pillar go down. But I can't reach it from the bottom. So I'm going to have to do what I just did. But I'm going to put a pillar in the middle. Put a pillar there, pillar there. And then I have to jump... Uh, as I jump this pillar, I just move to the side, move to that side. So just like I was standing here and going 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. We're going to do that from the middle. We're going to go up 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Up 1, 2... We have to go back and forth, back and forth all the time. Now, please stay there. Please stay there. Please stay there. Boom. As long as I stay crouched, I should be able to take that fall without any risks. Okay. We do need to put a ladder going up as well. Hello, zombie. Can I snipe you is the question. Even if I can't, if I hit it, they're going to go and shoot him. Oh, killed him. And took his arm off. Damn. Okay, so over here, we're going to have to do the same, basically. But this, like I said, is not going to hold. This over here is actually going to cause extra weight. Until I put a hatch in and something else. Uh, I wonder if I go and put this in, whether the zombies will still path here. I'm going to go for like a, a block like this, but a very, very thin block. Like so. Wait, okay, so over there. So if I put a hatch there, the zombies should still pass through over here, hopefully. The only reason I have to do this now is to make sure that it holds the weight. If I put a hatch there and these here, then it feels like it's a full block. Although I think anything above the hatch doesn't really get held up properly. So even if I put a hatch in, if I go into the stability view, it'll still show that something's wrong. At least now the block underneath it. So this corner and this corner is going to carry all the weight. But the ones underneath will also help carry the weight as well. Okay, so now we just stand over here. We go 1, 1. 1, 1. And one one. We have to keep doing that, and then we're gonna do it for that side as well. And then as soon as we have a side we, uh, that we have a ladder or want to have a ladder on, I should probably take the ladder up. The problem is because this is uh, this base is designed a certain way, I'm gonna really struggle to decide where that ladder has to go. Okay, let's really do the rest of this one as well. That was four and five. Oh, okay. Now that sucks because I have a ladder over here. As I'm here, they're pushing me off the ladder. Look at that. Every time I, just before I start placing the ladder, they start pushing me off. They're basically like drones. The drones do that as well, and I despise it. Okay, so uh, to make sure it actually is a holding at the bottom as well, what I'm going to have to do is quickly go over here. See, because this over here, is, uh, this block is holding the ladder. So at the moment, the ladder is being basically held up by this row over here. So to make sure it actually has help, has support from downstairs, you can do this. But that just adds more weight. Why do that? Let the ladder hang. At the moment, if I put this over here at the bottom, I'm going to have to put another layer as well next to one of the poles. So we have this ladder going up. You go over here, this ladder goes up. 
And then we're inside our base of here. The base is going to be rather small. I could just always make a second layer if I really needed to. Hello, zombies. Okay, we're going to see how they pass now as well. The zombies will really, they will realize that I'm here soon. Two, three, four. So they should pass up the normal way. Unfortunately, we don't have hatches yet. So I'm going to have to rely on my NPCs to do some damage. Technically, let's just finish this design quickly before we continue. If the enemies decide they want to come for us right now, this needs to be done. They always have that one facing outwards like that. And then it's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, what? One, two, three. You never put it over here because the zombies then, when they come over here, they fight over who gets it and they destroy it. So you let them run a little bit first and then they have to jump, 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 jump. And the jump over here hopefully knocks them down. You put a sledge over there. And then that does the rest of the damage for you. Hunting. Hunting mode, go. Fresh male Z, go kill him. Again, you move out of my way, please. Okay, so our base is almost up now. I just have to do this over here. The moment we have these pillars all the way to the top, we don't have to worry about our loot outside. Although I do, I am thinking of making like a drop box at the, uh, the back side. Or just outside. Uh, because you want to be able to just come back from a hunt. Just really go drop stuff and then come back for your loot. Look at that, just fell down. Let's get the XP. Boom. Okay, but yeah. So basically all we have to do is make sure that we have a drop box. If you're too lazy to come all the way to the top to drop stuff off and we, we're in a rush. We can put it all in a dump chest down below and then we can come back for it. We don't have any... Oh, we do. Cobble. Cobble bars. See, at the moment, they're fighting uh, over, like, hitting blocks and stuff. Because they can't make you. Now they can make it to me, so they shouldn't go for the blocks. Oh, uh, guardsman, you are dying. And the... Oh, why do you want to go inside the trader? The spider over there is destroying or attacking the trader right now. Why are you almost dying down there? Okay, nice. They're standing together. United. Spider's actually coming up to the fence. Let's probably go and kill it quickly. See, it's pathing the way it should, so at least the base is working. Go put the head on the shoulder. The only reason I know you have to go for the head on the shoulder is because it uh, does headshot damage, crit damage. But it's so hard hitting that little piece over there. The thing that looks like a head is not a head. So that side on the left is not a head. You have to hit the right side. One down. Lady. Okay, I'll have to pick her up because she's not fighting at all right now. I, yeah, let's just pick them up for now because they're just going to get in the way. So pick me up. Pick me up. I hear them hitting somewhere at the back as well. At least for now, they should fall down over here. The moment they jump here, they fall down. Um, I need to put a hatch over here and a sledge to make sure it actually gets hit. It's a shame there's no automatic sledge. Like a powered sledge. That would also be really awesome. Okay, let's see. These padded ones are already... No, it's not. I want to say these padded ones are already done, but these were a uh, fiber. So now I can go say one, two, three, four, five. Uh, pipe machine gun, pipe pistol. I ran out of duct tape. I have to get more duct tape, then we'll be able to make more of those shapes. And then also, this is now out of blocks. Ooh, um, can I still share from up there? Yeah, 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 we can. I want to make some storages from up here. First things first, let's go duct tape. Come on. It's a shame it only shows the, the quest markers first. You have to go and actually look like this to be able to get the rest. Uh, yeah, we'll go for all 12 like so. Unfortunately, we already have, I think, a full set of red. Yeah, red, red. Oh, no, that's green. Oh, I thought we had a full set of red already. So basically, I can do this. Modify, do this. Put the red one on. Okay, I need to make sure we have full red as well. Now that we have crafted a full quality red, we can just as well go do that. Test piece as well. Make sure we have the best of the best on. Even this one was blue. Damn. You see, I'm thinking of the previous game that we tried. The previous save. 
In the previous save, I definitely had a full set of red gear. Especially after we went for that little bunker, that's a uh, truck stop. Okay, turn that lights on. Quests. We're still busy with armor and gun progression over there. We still have to wear leather boots. Can we make those? Leather. Leather boots. All of these are locked under armor. So we have to get the armor book a little bit more. And do that. NPCs, put those next to each other. And then this, we can turn into stuff. But now that we take that away... What do we need? Oh, now I used up all the glue. I thought it uses duct tape. Now I used up all the glue. <laughs> I thought we needed duct tape, so I used it. Okay, that sucks. Uh, stone hammer. What do we need? Stone. Stone pickaxe. Yeah, let's literally do those as well. If I can get that one boulder down there, that should be enough. And then we have to start the quests as well. Oh, also storages. Storage. Writable large storage chest. Did I get the recipe for this or something? Nice. What do we still need? Nails. Damn, I didn't even realize we have this big chest. That's gonna save us. Oh, we also have to be careful because it is everything's flammable. So I need to put a wall around my boxes ASAP. Hopefully the crops can't vomit that high. And hopefully during a horde night, the vultures come underneath and they don't vomit up there. Imagine after horde night going upstairs and they realize, oh no, all your stuff's burned down. That is gonna suck. Okay, all of these we can actually scrap now. It's easy enough to make anyways. These ones I can sell or scrap. Eh, they sell for a little bit at least, so it's worth selling it. And then this one is a worse quality than the one we just made. Boom. Okay, I have to constantly make sure we have the best of the best stuff on us. For example, now this. Uh, the spear we can take away so we can do this. And the moment we have that auger, we'll be able to get another space because one of the, uh, these two slots are going to open up. The spear we can put away because we're not using that right now. And the rest of the stuff we can just put away. And then this will turn into more blocks. Although, while that stuff crafts, we should probably go inside the trader. We have a working uh, working workbench over here. I said working vending machine. We have a working workbench over here, so we just do that. We do need more batteries and stuff over here. That's going to help us speed up the process too. Unfortunately, this screwdriver is a really bad wrench, but it is a wrench. But regardless, we can still use it. Hello? Okay, I didn't want to shoot because I'm now just lured in more zombies. Yeah, we are making more cobble, so I'll be able to put the roof in. Let's really just put this down. Now my aunts and uncles' dogs are screaming again, so I'm guessing they're outside the house now. Okay, do this. Do this. Oh, that's full. See, with the rideable large storages, we'll be able to grab more as well. So we'll just sort this and grab as much as possible right now. Food and drink first. Food and medical, I mean. Okay, I should probably go and check in the trader whether I can't use that forge to make some more nails. Uh, that's food related, food related, food related. This is not food related. This is... Ooh. Gun related, so we'll put these over here. And then we'll put the guns and tools and stuff together for now. Resource miscellaneous will go together as well. And since these are writable, we can actually go and write on them too. Nice. But I want to see if we can't get a little bit more nails. If we can buy the nails, that'd be awesome. Although I do want to save the cash. We need to go and do quests and just save those. Let's see. Please tell me you do not have nails. Because if you have nails, I'm definitely going to buy them. <laughs> nails. Nope. No, nothing over there. Ooh, buggy. 25,000. Oh, I'm so tempted instead of the auger to get this. Also resets day 9. But uh, all we have to do is focus on questing. If I can buy myself the charger and the auger just by doing quests, we can do that. I think we also have a few resources and stuff in the boxes we can go and sell. More nails. No. Okay. Any more nails of here? You reset, so you have more clay now. The clay is cheap enough to buy. The stone, however, is a little bit more expensive. Although we can make more cobble with that. That's the only reason I just bought it. So go cobble, make more cobble. Go grab this cobble over here. I didn't even check to, uh, I didn't grab the iron or the clay right now to actually make myself more nails. And it's easy enough to do. Nails, yes. The nails are slightly expensive, but since we need them for the storages, and if we have the storages, we won't have to worry about anything else. Nail. Okay. 
Now I just have to go and grab some iron. I have to come make some nails over here. How many more boxes can I actually make? Storage. Storage. Edible storages. Large. Four. We're running out of nails again. See, uh, we have the paint. We have the wood. I just need to see if we actually have... Hello. Um, I need to see if we actually don't have some resource over here. Some iron. And make some more nails over here. Please don't tell me we have to smelt them in. Oh, we don't. Awesome. 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 We should probably also put the other anvils and stuff in here too. But now I'll only go and make 500. Three minutes worth of time. That's fine. Okay, let's go put the rest of the stuff away. Okay, so now to quickly go quiet down the dogs. <laughs> um, I've moved four of the boxes already. We have to move the rest though. At least it's going way smoother than I thought. Why are you smacking the ladder on the way up? Not cool, dude. It's definitely going a lot smoother than I thought it's going to go. Uh, we do need to go do quests, man. I am making more... No, we're not making any more boxes. We need those nails. The nails should be done by now as well. Uh, did I not put the nails in? I could have soon I said start. Damn it. Okay, so I didn't make the nails. But how, how did I not? I thought I had the iron on me just now. I'm so confused. I could have soon I made nails just now. Did I take the... Oh, I took the iron oh, up already as well. Damn. Okay, so yeah, that seemed to have taken, but it didn't take. I need more nails because I need to be able to go and put all of the rest of this stuff away. There's a box for the resources. Uh, there's a little bit of iron down here. I'm going to need way more iron though. The only problem is this is the only way to get into my base at the moment. So I have to go through the whole defense just to be able to get to where my base is. I'll show you guys what I have up here so long. So I have drinks and food, meds and farming, weapons and parts, ammo and parts, tools and parts, all mods, resources. I'm going to make this armor. Um, basically, technically, I want to ma make the building supplies and the resource over here. I want to make that armor and I want to make this a vehicle parts box. But unfortunately, yeah, damn, I, I didn't even realize I didn't have it on me. I need to quickly make more nails. I even put the fuel in there, but it seems to have burned out without crafting. I think I said start instead of craft. So it started the fire, but it didn't start the actual crafting process. I even said that we need to put an anvil in here, and I forgot about that. So it's one, two, and then 500 nails. Oh, I wonder if I have the anvil on me, but it doesn't seem like it. It's here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so if I had that on me, it would actually be a little bit faster as well. But for now, we're going to go do that. Craft. See, I, I hit start instead of craft, I think. So it didn't make any nails, it just automatically used up all the fuel that I put in there. How many nails do I need for one box? Storage. Rideable large storage. I need 30. So as soon as we have 30 over here, or oh, 60, we can make two. And then on the way up into the base, we can at least have these. So we do that. We stop that. We make large storages. We make cobble. Boom. And then the cobble blocks at the back. 84 more. So we'll be able to technically finish our whole base this uh, episode as well. Although I really want to get to the... Questing instead of the building. At least we do have a base. We have a base for the Day 7 Horde. I'm just hoping there's not going to be too many vultures. And uh, hopefully while questing right now we can get some sledges as well. I want to save all my cash because I want to see if we can't go and get ourselves a vehicle. It's 25k for the vehicle. Or if I can get some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce or something like that, we might actually get a special. But basically, I need a vehicle for 25,000 and I need the auger for 24. So it's basically 50k that we need and we only have like 10 on us at the moment. Stamina. Damn. I can't afford right now to use my gun because all of the zombies in the area will hear me. There's actually quite a bit of zombies around us at the moment. Every night time, they spawn in like crazy. So all of this we should be able to take to the top. Damn. A little bit full. But basically, all of the stuff's almost moved into the top, and then we just have to add walls before Horde Night. Uh, we want to make sure that if there are vultures, they don't go and just vomit straight out of boxes or destroy our boxes trying to get through. Because in the past, I actually have had a base where, in, uh, I think, Where's UK mod, where the vultures came through the top of the roof, through my workbenches, all the way down instead of coming from the sides. But I think in 820, 821, they actually started fixing it a little bit more, so they path better now as well. That's going to be vehicles. For now, we can put uh, the building supplies and stuff in there. And miscellaneous will go over there. 
Technically, I can move all the boxes up one. So I can destroy those two later, put a fire in there, and then just put all the boxes over here. Okay, so this is going to be vehicles and parts. For now, we'll put the armor in there as well. We don't have a box for the armor, and we don't have the space for it as well. Oh, any mod we're going to actually put over here with all mods. And then also, I just realized this one has a mod in there. We are going to go to other biomes anyways, but for now, yeah, let's just take this off. We might be able to put that on one of our other armor pieces. Okay, so I'm going to put the vending machines on this side for now. I uh, need to remove that still, and then at the vending machines over here, we can buy more stuff. For well, now, though, we have to save cash. Technically, to get more cash, all I have to do is do a few quests over here. For example, we still have tool progression. Stone crafting, steel... Okay, uh, let's quickly really do this. Cool. Stone, what do we need for these? Stone. Actual stone. We um, should probably quickly really go and just break down a boulder outside then. The quicker we go through these quests, the more we'll get some XP and stuff, and that's really going to help us out. Hello, soldier. Probably put my NPCs down because they'll fight for me while I do all of this. Uh, let's get do this. Just please don't die. Sometimes they suck at defending themselves. Okay, this should be enough stone for now as well. Oh, there's a big dude coming from over there. Hello, Feral. I've noticed there's a lot of ferals walking around. Hello. Ooh, we can not to hit my bike over here. Okay, all this has to go upstairs as well. Please do not die. That's all I'm asking right now. Do not die. But yeah, all I have to do is make sure we get through all of these quests over here. I think we already took all the nails and the cobble and stuff out of the workbenches and the... Uh, the Trader, hopefully. The moment everything's moved, the, the horde base is done. I just need to make more hatches. At the moment, we'll use for the first horde night, we'll use the, the slide at the trader, which I don't really like because of the dinging sound. We should have enough cobble, perhaps. No, we don't. I was about to say, we should perhaps have enough cobble to just go and at least make that side's defense so we don't have to shoot towards the trader. But it seems like that's not going to happen. Miscellaneous, we just put all of this stuff away. Repair kits. This we can actually sell. Boom, 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 boom. Put that there, put that there. Okay. So basically what I need to do now is quickly really make these tools. Stone hammer, stone pickaxe, stone shovel. Uh, What about the stone axe? And so we still have to make the scrap ones as well. But now, okay. Now that we've made this, I want to show you guys this quest. Tool progression is now at level 2. Now it says craft scrap stuff. But under over here, uh, tradesman, I think. We also have to make the scrap stuff. So it's worth. Now we do two quests in one time. And now, but there's no other rewards except for XP for these. Some of them give you rewards like tokens and stuff. Stone spear, stone sledgehammer. Here. Probably need more stone. Now we need more plant fibers. Okay, for now we're just going to put everything away. I want to go questing. I want to get some cash. If we can get that vehicle and we can get the... Auger, that would be amazing. I think at the moment the vehicle is probably better. Although, early game you need something like an auger to be able to get all those resources easily. Now I'll just put this stuff away. Bombing, medicine, vehicle stuff goes over here. Weapon, no, that's tool repair kit, right? Yeah, tool repair kit over there. I have one hatch and some resources over here. Let's just put all of the stuff away and then we're going to go put down that hatch downstairs. I just realized <laughs> while I was drinking with my water was very low. Uh, there was still like 80-something cobble inside the drink box for some reason. Technically, I could use this to finish the defense on the other side as well, so we don't have to fire the trader. But we always have more than enough time. Um, as long as we get more resources while going for all of these POIs, we can get more cobble and we can get that side done before Hood Knight. Although, I'm going to have to make myself another bit of forge. Uh, we can actually buy forged iron. I need two forged iron at the moment. Because I need to go and I need to go and put the hatch down and i think we only have eight out of ten uh forged iron so we need we need two more forged iron to be able to make one more hatch we do have one at the moment though that's all that matters let me put this in please no we're not gonna have enough blocks that's a shame i'm gonna fill this in over here with like hat with bars so we can actually see through although i'm really afraid of birds vomiting through the bars and then hitting my boxes over here we'll just do this 
We're going to copy our rotation and place the rest. Next time, we have a torch over here. Technically, we can move them up a bit. One torch there, one torch there, I think. Okay, anyways, uh, let's put this hatch down. And then we have to go do quests like crazy. Oh, hello. You guys are still there. Remember, I thought I was getting attacked or something. Do that. Now the enemies will come for you. And now also, we have to make sure we have cobble on us during Horde Night. And then we can remove this side and make this side. Also, I want to make some doors over here. Door, double wooden door. I need to upgrade these to metal as soon as possible. Because these wooden ones, it just takes the one Molotov to go and burn everything down. So you open that up, you throw a Molotov, you close it back down again. But it has to be non-wood before Horde Night. If this is wood, just a one or two cop bomb, it's going to set everything alight and then we have a big problem. This is in this side, that's in that side. This just needs the hatch and then the walkway. Although at the moment, we just don't have the resources for that. We're going to put this over here. We're going to go sell this quickly to make some space. Although, you know what? There's no real need or reason at the moment. If I can just get my covert unlocked. No, um, technician unlocked. We can actually go for pack mill over here. Technician, I think, is the one. What do you need for technician? Technician, craft, mini bike. See, we, we should be able to make these. I think we can actually already make some workbenches. But for now, at least all of these boxes are empty. We can use these as like storage or dump boxes. And then during Horde Night, it just takes one or two fireballs to burn these boxes down for us. There's nothing on the bikes, right? Nope, there is. Uh, did you take this upstairs? Oh, I'm just going to put this in the dump chest. Did not know there's still stuff in here. That would have sucked. And then technically this guy, inventory. Okay, I was about to say, you can't pick him up if his inventory is full, I think. Now we just have to quest like crazy. I think let's go for the weapon supplies first. Hello, big boy. We're going to go for the weapon supplies first, and then we're going to go for the quests. Before day 7, we have to see if we can't... Well, it's before day 9 it resets. So even if it's after Horde Night, as long as it's before day 9, the evening of day 8, we have to have 50,000 tokens. I think we do have quite a few things on us, actually, that we can go and sell, so I should probably try that. Um, and yeah, hopefully we just have enough cash by then. If we can get more treasure maps and stuff, especially, that will help. I need the vehicle and I need the auger. If we have those, this series is going to skyrocket. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get all the resources we need super easily. Instead of having to say, oh, we don't have the stamina to get these resources. All we have to do is use the auger, just tap once or twice, and the resource is picked up. Okay, before I could even place a block down just now to stop them from falling in, this dude falls in. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna fall through this world. Dude, stop pushing. Stop pushing, I can't move. I'm gonna fall through the world. I literally, oh, I have to pick him up. I can't move at all. Pick up. So I'm guessing the treasures are on this side because I don't see any treasures this side. Oh, wait, no, it's over there. It's that box over there. Come on, get out of this hole. That is unfair. That, I'm gonna heal myself with God mode with that one. Because he pushed me into the world, when I, as soon as I got unstuck, all of a sudden I broke my leg. I feel like we can agree that is super unfair. I mean, technically I did benefit from being able to see through the world. But, uh, probably keep my leg like this, just heal it. But do you know how long it's going to take for this leg to heal? It's completely broken. Not even sprained. Getting unstuck completely broke my leg just now. Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay, do we have any splints on us? No. This is going to be a nightmare getting out. These NPCs are a great help until they break your legs. Okay, so I won't use God Mode because, I mean, I did benefit from being able to see where the treasure is. It just sucks, though. At least I didn't have to jump because I could just grab the vehicle. Wait, uh, okay, you're just melee. I thought you might have a weapon in your hand. Okay, so let's go back to the trader. Oh, yeah, I have to go back to the base anyways because I have to heal myself. This sucks. Seriously, it sucks. Next time I have to make sure that I pick up the vehicle before, uh, no, pick up the NPCs before I start digging. I mean, it's a, it's a nice way to cheese it, to be able to, to see through the world. But if you break your leg every time you get unstuck, that's not worth it. Now I'm going to have to use a splint and it's going to take me how many in-game days just to repair and I wanted to go guns blazing through the POIs and just clear them out. I'm just going to use my shotgun that way and I'm just going to go clear out POIs super fast. Why does this checkpoint look so awesome? I can't remember it looking this uh, badass. There's usually a ton of clutter and vehicles. This looks awesome. 
I wonder if this is part of the mod or if that is actually in vanilla. I've just never seen it before. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the base. I'm going to quickly go get myself that cast. And the next episode, we have to quest like crazy. We need so much coin right now. At the moment, we only have 14,000. So that means we need another 36,000. But as soon as we have that, we'll have a buggy. And we'll have an auger. And then we'll be able to get way more done. The buggy is going to have way more space. It's going to be way faster. And then obviously the auger, we're going to be able to get so much more resources. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, leave a like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Hello. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description down below.